Hello everyone and welcome to PE Academy. So in this part of this video, we are going to be replicating this isometric drawing. So this is drawing 11. So if you uh, so far we looked at 10. So if you missed those 10, I include the introduction to isometric uh, drawing. So kindly check the description of this video. You'll find a link to those videos. So to start with, I'm going to be drawing my horizontal line. So I'll bring in the set square. So I use it using the 90 degree part of this, uh, of the set square. So I can make this um, very long. So. So now we note the point of intersection, which is here. So we bring back the set square again. So to draw this side. So turn to the other side. So now let's take measurements. So if you look at this, let's see. The total length is 5 cm right here. And then on this side is also 5. Why the height is 6. So let's take note of that. So here is 6. So this is 6. So we have this side to be 5. We also have here to be 5. Alright, so let's continue. So I bring back. The set square. So from the top, so here I mark it 6 cm, draw a line like this. In the other direction, we have something like this. So we are still working with faint lines. So from here I mark the 5 cm on the lower line, draw a line. From here again, draw a line. So let's note this intersection here. Right? Where this vertical line is touching these lines. So we bring in the set square. So what we want to draw now is this top right here. So if you are at this stage and you want to be sure if your uh, construction is correct, you can just pick your ruler and measure the top. So like this is 5 cm. And this is uh, giving us 5 cm. Just that's, so that's to tell us that our construction so far is still correct. So you can see from the top here is 5 and then 5. Because you can see that we did, it's not that we measured it directly before we can get the line. It's just by placing our C square and our C square and then projecting those lines. Alright, so now that we've gotten that, so the next thing I want us to do is, is to draw this one that is at the top here, what we are having at the top. But before we draw the one at the top, so I want us to draw out this um, the square itself so that we can see the progress we've made so far. So look at this down also. Also this down is divided, we have from here, here to here to be 10, from here to here is 20, and from here to here is 20. So let's mark those points. So this is 10 plus another 10, that's 30. I'm talking in millimeters now. So I can go ahead to make it a bold line.
to for on this part so let me measure this so this is four centimeter and this is 3.5 so let's this is 4.5 and 3.5 so it's 4.5 centimeter so pardon me if i'm switching between centimeter and millimeter so if case is confusing you pardon me for that so why this is one two three point five centimeter which is that's five mm so this is what you are currently having so i said let's work with the one at the top so if you look at what you're having at the top the distance from here to here and from here to here are 10 cm. So why the distance from here to here is 20? I mean, from here to here is uh, 10 mm, from here to here is 10 mm. Why from here to here is 20? And from here to here is 20? So let's note that. So this is what I mean. So we are going to note 10. So that means from here to here is 20 and from here to here is 10. I'll do the same thing here. So from those points, I'm bringing the C square again. So from those points that I've marked, I'll draw those, this fence line. So you are going to be have, so if you notice this top here, so we are going to be drawing the lines that matters. So we are going to be drawing with a gold line. So I want to draw this vertical line. And now we are done with the top, with the top. So now let's work on this side. So this opening here that we're having here. So for what we do, we bring in our side square. So from here, we adjust it to this point and then we we'll draw a vertical line. So let's see the height of the line is uh, this side is is two centimeter. So let me measure two centimeter here. So since I already know the two centimeter mark, I bring in the set square. So I can make this. Can make this side bold. So, if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, click on that like button to give it a thumbs up. So, now we have done. So, what is left is this particular one that we are having here. So, we are going to we fix it here we are going to be drawing it here so to do that so now i want to draw this 
this uh, vertical line from this point here so with a faint line so I'm going to draw a line that will, from this point to come and touch that line So let's see. So let me just measure it. This is to be one centimeter. If you look at it here, one centimeter, which is 10 mm. So that is the point for 10 mm. Okay, so I just noticed something while trying to measure the 2.5. I noticed that right here is. Um, that means the distance from here to here, I measured it to be, we are using um, 2.5 and what we have in the diagram, what we are trying to do is 3.5 so, so well, instead of adjusting it, it's still the same uh, process so let me just make this 3.5 so, to be here alright, so I haven't done that I'll bring in my set square. Okay. So from here we can easily join into that line that we've just drawn. And then this one straight down, we we'll pick it from this point. We'll have something like this. From here, oh. so there's let me correct this. So from here. Then we make this bold. So let me also make this with a thick line. And you can see we've been able to have this uh, isometric drawing, we've been able to replicate it here, this is it here. So the only difference you see is that this one is bigger, what we have here, than this one. And like I said, what actually happened is, the distance from here to here is actually 3.5 centimeter. While we made from here to here uh, 2.5. So that's why you're having this one look looking bigger, but the steps are still, are still the same thing. So that is also another important thing to know that whenever you are drawing a diagram on isometric, you want to always pay attention to the uh, to the dimension so that you, uh, you don't come across uh, mistakes like this where you are using a wrong uh, dimension. Maybe you are giving five and you are using six. So, so that is it. So now the next thing I want to do that is to show is to give it the, uh, the dimensions. So, let me move it away from the light so that you can see it. So. Alright, so I think you, you are seeing it more clearly like this, away from um, the flash from my camera is making it not look good. So, this is what we've just done. So, let me give you the dimensions.
So this is 10. This is 20. And this is 20. So this is 10, 20, 20. So this is 20, 20, 10. So this is 35, 15, and then 10. All right, so that's it uh, on the um, isometric drawing 11. So this is 11 drawing. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, do leave them in the comment section below. So in the next one, we are going to be looking at drawing 12. So that drawing 12 is a, is a very unique one. So make sure you don't miss it. That drawing will be coming up immediately after this particular drawing. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in isometric drawing 12.